Chapter 23 And it came to pass a long time after that the Lord had given rest unto Israel from all their enemies round about, that Joshua waxed old and stricken in age. And Joshua called for all Israel, and for their elders, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers, and said unto them, I am old and stricken in age. And ye have seen all that the Lord your God hath done unto all these nations because of you, for the Lord your God is he that hath fought for you. Behold, I have divided unto you by lot these nations that remain, to be an inheritance for your tribes, from Jordan with all the nations that I have cut off, even unto the great sea westward. And the Lord your God, he shall expel them from before you, and drive them from out of your sight, and ye shall possess their land, as the Lord your God hath promised unto you. Be ye therefore very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left, that ye come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them. But cleave unto the Lord your God, as ye have done unto this day. For the Lord hath driven out from before you great nations and strong. But as for you, no man hath been able to stand before you unto this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your God, he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. Take good heed therefore unto yourselves, that ye love the Lord your God. Else, if ye do in any wise go back, and cleave unto the remnant of these nations, even these that remain among you, and shall make marriages with them, and go in unto them, and they to you, know for a certainty that the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you, but they shall be snares and traps unto you, and scourges in your sides, and thorns in your eyes, until ye perish from off this good land which the Lord your God hath given you. And behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth. And ye know in all your hearts, and in all your souls, that not one thing hath failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spake concerning you. All are come to pass unto you and not one thing hath failed thereof. Therefore it shall come to pass that as all good things are come upon you which the Lord your God promised you, so shall the Lord bring upon you all evil things until he hath destroyed you from off this good land which the Lord your God hath given you. When ye have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods and bowed yourselves to them, Then shall the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and ye shall perish quickly from off the good land which he hath given unto you. Psalm 42 As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. For I had gone with the multitude, I went with them to the house of God, with the voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept holy day. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan and of the Hermonites, from the hill Mizar. Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy water spouts. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto God, my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a sword in my bones, mine enemies reproach me, while they say daily unto me, Where is thy God? Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Good morning, and a happy Sabbath day to you safely through another week god has brought us on our way and i believe that this week someone was blessed in a special way this week someone recovered from an illness this week someone received a financial blessing 
this week someone was baptized and so we thank god for the blessings of the past week which will end when the sun goes down today today we are focusing on joshua chapter 23 and the psalm 42 i'm reading joshua chapter 23 verse 6 to verse 8 the bible says joshua speaking be ye therefore very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of moses that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left that ye come not among these nations these that remain among you neither make mention of the names of their gods nor cause to swear by them neither serve them nor bow yourselves unto them but cleave unto the lord your god as ye have done unto this day repeating verse 8 verse 8 says but cleave unto the lord your god as ye have done unto this day today's message is entitled stay connected it's worth it stay connected it's worth it let us pray father in the name of jesus we come asking that your holy spirit will take us through this message and apply it to our hearts for christ's sake amen on tuesday february 9th 2021 the cnn news report carried this caption this woman used gorilla glue instead of hairspray she ended up in the hospital that was the caption on the cnn website there was a picture of a woman and the caption above the picture read this woman used gorilla glue instead of hairspray she ended up in the hospital the news article continued a louisiana woman has sought medical treatment after mistakenly using gorilla glue spray adhesive in place of actual hairspray Tessica Brown's plight went viral earlier in February after she revealed that her hair had been stuck in the same style for a month since she substituted her usual got-to-be glue spray with the industrial strength glue when she ran out of hairspray. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move, she said in the original video posted to TikTok. I've washed my hair 15 times. In another video, she was seen slathering on shampoo, which failed to penetrate her rock-hard hair. Stiff wear? Stiff wear? Tessica Brown asked TikTok one week ago before the world was aware of her struggle. My hair, she finished. And stiff it has been, the article continued. And stiff it has been for more than a month now as brown continues battling against what so far seems to be an irreversible decision mistakenly using gorilla glue to hold her hairstyle in place my hair has been like this for about a month now gorilla glue is said to be one of if not the strongest glue in the world the glue which is a hundred percent waterproof is usually used for fixing bathroom tiles wood flooring and decking joshua is dying and he called the leaders of israel to speak with them in his parting words joshua was saying to the israelites that they should hold on to jesus as if they had stuck themselves to jesus with gorilla glue so that nothing could shake or remove their commitment to god and the principles of heaven yes joshua was saying to the people that they should hold on to jesus as if they had stuck themselves to jesus with gorilla glue so that nothing could shake or remove their commitment to god and to the principles of heaven oh friend of mine the fact of the matter is that we have a choice we have a choice we can either cleave to god or to the devil through his temptations and sin we have a choice we can either cleave to god or to satan we can cleave to satan and sin for example the bible says of king jehoram in second kings chapter 3 and verse 3 the bible says nevertheless he cleaved he cleaved unto the sins of jeroboam the son of nebat which made israel to sin he departed not 
therefrom. Or we can cleave to God and that which is good. Romans chapter 12 and verse 9 says, Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. And Joshua told the people in Joshua chapter 23 and verse 8, But cleave unto the Lord your God as ye have done unto this day. Cleave unto the Lord your God. Now in the Bible, the term cleave has two meanings, one negative, one positive. One meaning, the negative, is to split or to rend. Cleave, in one sense, means to split or to rend, as used in 1 Samuel chapter 6, verse 14, Psalm 74, verse 15, Psalm 141, verse 7, and Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 9. The second meaning is what we are focusing on today, the positive meaning. To cleave also means to adhere to, to adhere to or to join oneself to. Cleave, to join oneself to or to adhere to. And so this is the meaning that we are focusing on today. Joshua was saying to the people, adhere to Jesus, join yourself to him. We are told that a man should cleave unto his wife. According to Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 and Matthew chapter 19 verse 5, cleave is also used in this sense to describe one's adherence to principle. Paul admonished the Romans to cleave to that which is good. Friend of mine, according to the text, cleaving to God, according to Joshua chapter 23 and verse 11, means loving God, loving God. Joshua says, Take good heed, therefore, unto yourselves, that ye love the Lord your God. Joshua 23 and verse 11. And Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37 expands on this thought. It says, and Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. So, Cleaving to God means loving God with heart, soul, and mind. Cleaving to God means to avoid every form of idolatry. For Joshua and the Israelites, it meant to avoid every form of idolatry. Joshua told the people in verse 7 of Joshua 23, he says, that the Israelites were not to mention the names of the gods of the heathen, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them, he told the people. And we even today, and we today, are challenged to turn away from idolatry. We are told, whatever lessens our love for God and our service due Him, of that we make an idol. And so to cleave to God in these days, we too must avoid that form of idolatry. Then Joshua says to cleave to Jesus means that they were not to associate with the heathen nations around them, according to verse 7 of Joshua chapter 23. In order to cleave to God, the Israelites were not to associate with the heathen nations around them. We too have the same counsel in Psalm 1 verse 1 which says, Blessed is the man, blessed is the woman, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. And the Bible also says evil communication corrupts good habits. So we too are challenged not to associate with people who will lead us away from the principles of heaven. Cleaving to God means being obedient to all God's commands and instructions. Cleaving to God means being obedient to all God's commands and instructions. Joshua told the people in verse 6 of Joshua chapter 23, he told them, Be very firm then to keep and do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, so that ye may not turn aside from it to the right hand or to the left. That rendering is from the New American Standard Bible, and it says again, verse 6, Be very firm, then, to keep and do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, so that you may not turn aside from it to the right hand or to the left. Friend of mine, and by the way, obeying God also means obeying His Ten Commandments, not just the other laws written in the book of Moses. 
Now in the Bible, we find individuals who clave to the Lord and were blessed. We say that again. In the Bible, we find individuals who clave to the Lord and were blessed. Job clave to God even during his soul trial. Job clave to God throughout his life and even during his trials. During his trials, he mentioned in Job chapter 27 and verse 6, he said, My righteousness I hold fast and will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live. I am cleaving to God. And the Bible says, the Lord blessed Job, took him through his trials, and then blessed him. Job 42 and verse 12 says, So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. In other words, he was blessed more after his trial than before his trials. The three Hebrew boys, the three Hebrew youth, clave to the Lord even when their lives were threatened. God delivered them from the fiery furnace, and the king promoted them. In Daniel chapter 3 and verse 30. Blessed indeed. Daniel too was blessed. Daniel resolved in Daniel chapter 1 and verse 8. That no matter what he would cleave to his God. And that commitment remained throughout his life. Especially in Daniel chapters 1, 2 and 6. And God blessed Daniel with long life. And he served as a government official in the court of Babylon and even the Medo-Persian kingdom. Ruth too was blessed because she clave to God. When her mother-in-law was saying, Ruth, you don't have to follow me. She said to her mother-in-law in Ruth chapter 1 and verse 16, she says, Entreat me not to leave thee, Naomi, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God, my God. She embraced the God of Israel. She clave to him, and she is listed. Her name is in the genealogy of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 1 and verse 5. O oh, friend of mine, we too in these last days are challenged to cleave to God. We too in these last days of earth's history when the coming king is at the door, we too are challenged to cleave to the Lord. The challenge Moses and Barnabas gave to the believers in God is for us today as well. Not only Joshua, but Moses told the people in Deuteronomy chapter 13 and verse 4, Ye shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him, and ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him. Moses said, cleave unto God. And speaking of Barnabas, Acts chapter 11, verse 22 says, Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch, who, when he came, and had seen the grace of God, was glad, and exhorted them all, that with purpose of heart, they would cleave unto the Lord God. O oh, friend of mine, allegiance must be to Jesus Christ himself, and must remain in him, with purpose of heart. Barnabas had seen the result of the operation of God's grace upon those of Antioch, but he knew, as every true pastor knows, that man's will or lack of it can frustrate the grace of God. Once saved, always saved is not true. Men backslide and apostatize, and the cooperation of man's will with God is necessary to bring the work of sanctification to completion. And Barnabas wished the brethren to be able to say with the psalmist in Psalm 57 and verse 7, My heart is fixed. O oh God, my heart is fixed. I am cleaving to God. O oh, friend of mine, there is a blessing in cleaving to the Lord. Moses reminded the people of that in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. Moses says, Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor. For all the men that followed Baal Peor, the Lord thy God hath destroyed them from among you. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, are alive, every one of you this day. 
old friend of mine. And then Jesus mentioned in Matthew 24, 12, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. And the Holy Ghost impressed Paul to mention in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him, the things which God hath prepared for them that cleave unto him. O oh, friend of mine, those who cleave to God, in the words of Moses, will live, not just exist, but live, have a life with purpose and joy and peace and happiness and a sense of confidence that God is our God and our Savior and that He loves us and is watching over us. We will live, we will endure to the end, we shall be saved and we shall enjoy the beauties of heaven that our senses cannot grasp now. Whatever you think of heaven, my friend, according to 1 Corinthians 2.9, it will be a billion times beyond your expectations infinitely beyond your expectations oh friend of mine i challenge you today in the words of scripture let us cleave to the lord and serve him and serve him faithfully until we see him face to face until we stand on the sea that looks like glass in heaven at last let us pray father Thank you for the example of those who clave to you. People like Daniel and Ruth and Job who serve you through thick and thin. Give us that strength today as we depend on you. Talking with you in prayer, reading your word, sharing our faith in witnessing and gathering in the house of worship as we will do today. Grant us a Sabbath day's blessing. Remember our prayer requests, those who have made prayer requests, Lord. Please answer them according to your will and at the right time. And when you come the second time, Lord, by your grace, it will be our joy to see you face to face. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.